So, if we invest $2,000 at 6% compounded monthly, how long will it take the account to double in value? So, we know how to set up our sort of our basic compound interest equation. We know that the amount we have after n years will be, let's see, my initial amount is 2,000, my rate is 6% compounded monthly for I don't know how many years. So, I know my initial amount is 2,000. R over k to the k times, uh, t n, and, uh, I don't know what, how many years it is. So, this is a little different because I don't know how many years it is, so I'm not trying to figure out how much I'll have in some number of years. Instead, I know how much I want, and we're trying to figure out how long. So, the how long is saying, I want n. I want to know what n is. Now, in order for my account to double in value, it's going to have to end up being worth 4,000, twice as much. And so, to answer this question, I'm going to set the, the amount that I end up with equal to 4,000. Uh, oops, I one, two, few zeros there. There we are. Uh, and, and now I can start solving for n. Now, the first thing I need to do is get that exponential by itself. So, we're going to divide both sides of the equation here by 2,000, uh, and then the left side, 4,000 over 2,000 is just 2, equals 1.005 to the 12 n. So now, in order to solve for our exponent, we're going to need to use the logarithm. So, we can take the log of both sides, or apply the log function to both sides, and now we can use the log property, which says that the exponent gets pulled down in front. And we're going to go ahead and pull down the entire exponent here, uh, just for simplicity. So we got log of 2 equals 12 times n times log of 1.005. Now, at this point, there's a couple routes we can go. I think I'm just going to go, let's pull out our calculator route. So, I'm going to start on the left with log of 2 is 0 0.301. So, this is 12 times n times, let's see, that's 1.005 log is 0 0.00217. Remember to keep three significant digits here, so 0.00217, 0 0.00217. Now, just for simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and multiply together my 12 and my 0 .00217. Uh, and since I already have this in my calculator, I'm just going to say times 12. Ah, uh, it gives me 0 .0260, 0 0.0260, okay, uh, 0.0260 times n. So that was the 12 times the 0 0.0217, and now I can divide by, divide by that. So I've got, uh, 0 0.301 divided by 0 0.0260 is, uh, 11 point, uh, 5, 5, 7, 7. Okay, so n is 11.5, what did I just say? 11.5777 years. So it's going to take a little over 11 and a half years for this account to double in value.